So I'm super disappointed um, in this new JCT brush cutter, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. So we've got a bolt come loose. I was checking it every about 15, 20 minutes. I, I probably ran for close to an hour. Um, we had one bolt come loose. It didn't come off yet, but it's just, it's just hanging on there. So I'm going to have to come back. That's the tight one. That looks like it could be tightened up some too. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it's bent, but it's definitely backed off. So I'm gonna come back with some tools and uh, tighten that baby up. What's going on everybody? We're back at the abandoned homestead, the creek property. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a repair work on, on the brush cutter, the new brush cutter we got. Um, the last video I was trying to figure out where to put the grease and all that in the head. I found it, did some research online on YouTube, figured out where it was at. And we also had that blade that was loose, it was missing a cotter pin. I don't know if it broke or came off or didn't have one, I don't know. Um, but I bought some, we're gonna, try to, we're gonna try to fix that. If I could fix it all today um, with the stuff I got, then I'm probably gonna run it a little bit. Okay, so I took off the guard and finished putting some oil in that. I couldn't see you in there, so thankfully we didn't burn it up. Um, that's where it goes. So I filled it to the level. That's like a some sort of drain plug right there, I think. So I filled it up to right there. I didn't want to fill it all the way up. So we get we'll get this all back together, um, and then I'll lift this up and see if I can't fix that blade. And then we'll get busy doing some stuff out here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Okay, I got some vines wrapped around it. So I'm gonna work on getting um, these vines untangled. And then we're gonna take this off, take a look at it. I think I got the right pins for it. This one seems, that one seems loose too. But it's got the cotter pin still in it. Hopefully we'll be able to save this one. All right, let me work on getting, when I say cotter pins, this is a pin right here that goes in there so it can't back off. So th either this one broke off somehow or didn't have one in there. I bought some, so hopefully I've got the right one. All right, let me get some of this. Let me work this off if I can, and then uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm down here at the abandoned homestead, the creek property. I've been so disappointed in this new machine that I bought, the brush cutter. I ran it for like an hour, hour and a half. Pieces were already coming off of it. I think I got it fixed. Let's go down to the creek while we got it going. I'm gonna mow some grass down there. I'm gonna try to work on the road too, coming in. Because here in the next month, we're gonna be putting on a camp down here for Father and Son for our church. I wanna start getting things ready. So hopefully this stays working. We get some work done here. The next few days we take back to the homestead and I can start cleaning up over there too. So. Let's do a little bit and then when, we get, when I get done with it, I'll talk to you about what's going on with it.
Okay, so one issue I'm having, first of all, the blade's working okay for now. We're around a little bit longer. I checked it a couple times already. Um, but one issue I'm having, since this is a new property to us, it's an old abandoned homestead, he has stuff everywhere, metal and this tall grass. So I have to ease into a lot of it. And look at this. So I about completely mowed that over. I found another metal pile over there. There's a metal pile over there. Um, so I have to be extremely careful in here. That's some big metal stuff that's gonna mess this up. I really don't wanna get off in this right now because I know there's a lot of ticks in here. So I'm gonna continue to kind of just work my way easily. I'm trying to clear out a really good spot for us to park and for us to set our um, tents and stuff up so when we camp. So it's gonna be a work in progress over the next month trying to get this place ready to have 10, 15 families down here with their kids. Um, I wanna mow some of that up over there too. So I think I know what I'm gonna to have to do this fall when all the grass is dead and we can see is we're gonna to have to spend weeks out here just collecting metal off the ground so we can eventually get this all cleaned up where we can make it actually usable. But so far, so so far so good with the mower. I'll do a little bit around down here some more and then I'm gonna work my way up on the road to clear that the road more so we're not hitting it with our vehicles when we're driving down. Okay, so I'm actually at um, the previous owner's, I think, son's old camping site. I think this is where they'd come down here and camp. He actually has an old lawnmower up here. So I'm pretty confident I can mow in here for the most part, but who knows? Um, because he was mowing it at one time, some of it. And this is actually a good little camping spot if it gets cleaned up. You can see, we've shown this before. There's a good little swimming hole right over there. That's where we had the crawdad traps. That's where we found all the arrowheads. So it's a good little location back here if you can just keep it maintained. I'll probably end up, I'll mow what I can. I'm gonna mow what I can um, tonight. And then we'll have to come back down here and spend, we're gonna spend several, maybe a week down here cleaning stuff up, making it how I want it, trails everywhere. Um, and then get down here and maintain this, get all this cleaned up and then just mow it all. Be a good spot. There's actually a road that you guys see me mowing that comes all the way down here. Okay, it's actually the next day. I mowed 
pretty much till it got dark worked on the road a little bit i've been up here for the last hour hour and a half cleaning up top you guys can see i've been mowing a little bit i'm trying to get this knocked down where i can see where all the metal and stuff's at so i can get it cleaned up but to this machine i'm happy with it when it's working and when pieces aren't breaking that shouldn't be breaking right off the back and now we got a bunch of limbs tangled up in it so i gotta cut it out that's that's pretty normal when you're in the woods cutting stuff um, this happened quite a bit whenever I work for the state too with these machines. They just it just happens. Um, I had to I got my little saw here. I'm gonna try to buzz saw some of these limbs out. Um, hopefully I can get it out and start running it again. Um, they just get tangled up around that, and um, I changed I changed this one. I need to change this one too. Um, the cotter pin's still on that, so I got to try to get it out here in a little bit. Um, but I want to change, I want to change this bolt out. They're just, they're just not good bolts. Um, but let me work on this a little bit. I hope I can get this in there. I may not be able to get it in there. That was my plan. Okay, I think I can. Okay, I'm gonna have to reposition this because I'm actually on one of the sticks. I thought this would actually work better than it did. Okay, um, I got that fixed where I can still run it. And um, I'm gonna, when we get back to the house, it's about the storm ice, I think, up here at the um, creek property. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the house. This is gonna be the first time I've hauled a heavy load with the new truck. Um, that's why I got it just for this reason right here. Um, so I can haul back and forth um, to our house and to the property here. Uh, so when we get back to the house, if it ain't pouring on us, I'm gonna do a little mowing there. Then I'm going to just talk to you guys about why I'm just so dang disappointed in this head. I think some of you guys probably already know if you've ever ran one of these. It's just cheaply made. Cheaply made. But we're going to go from there. So let's get out of here.
guys see me chasing Bobby, he's all the way up there. The camera got knocked up. The, he's all the way up by the high up by the road, and I was I was chasing him back with the blade off, obviously. And I was right on his tail and I was honking at him, and he was rah, 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 back at me. It's pretty funny. He's back over there now. So I don't know how much I recorded cleaning up, but let me show you just a little bit. I got down. I have to go into town right now, and I got to fix that blade. Um, but I am so I'm so happy I have the machine, but I'm disappointed at the same time because now you can see I don't have to weed eat all this and I've been putting off the weed eating because I knew I was gonna get the machine over here uh, Soon, but now I can actually get all the driveways cleaned off Get all the rock big rocks picked up that I ran over that I didn't see um, I'll just give you kind of a glimpse of what I've done right now though So last year we had a weed eat all that you guys can see now that's just a couple passes through and I'll continue to work on it, but it'll look nice coming down the driveway and coming up, get all this cleaned up, get all this underbrush cut, all of it. And it's gonna look really good. When you build a homestead from scratch in the middle of the woods, like we have in the middle of 40 acres, that was solid timber, just like that when we bought it here, look at this. Literally, this is how all this looked. And you guys can go back and watch the videos when I first cleared it. Every bit of it looked like that. You could barely walk through that stuff. And now you see what we've what we formed now. Randy and the girls are coming. Uh, but it is a lot of work. You have to have the right machinery to do the right job, to do a good job, or you're just gonna kill yourself. You guys are trying to build your own homestead from scratch like we are. If you can get the right machines for the jobs, because you are you will burn yourself out trying to work and maintain, just maintaining this property now is a full-time job um, on its own especially if you don't have the right equipment um, but yeah. okay it's the next day and i want to tell you guys why i'm not real happy about the jct brush cutter that i bought um, from a local dealership they don't carry any parts to fix this thing they i guess they literally i found this after, out after the fact they literally just get them by the shipping containers and then they shut they sell them whatever okay so i've been having a hard time trying to find bolts to fit the stump jumper and um, also the blades that they're using um, i can't find these particular blades it's kind of been like a bit of a a mess trying to get this fixed let me show you one of the main reasons why if you guys buy one of these this is what you need to do first you need to change out this bolt this bolt look at this look how flimsy that is super dangerous it could break off it could th it could throw through the metal it can go through whatever this it could definitely it's about to break off now and um, I, I'm at the task of trying to take this off. This one already did that to me, and I finally got it switched out. Um, it's working good. I think overall, if you can switch these blades out, if you're going to do any brush cutting at all, you'd be way better off. If you just got this machine just for like mowing grass, it would be fine just how it is. But if you're going to um, be doing any brush cutting whatsoever, which this machine is made for that too, um, up to a certain size, you know, um, you need to change those blades out you need to change the bolts out on the blades and that is that is kind of paying the butt trying to trying to find the parts for it and another thing if you guys jct if you guys are getting one of these make sure you put oil in the motorhead it comes with zero oil um a friend of mine told me to check because his brother bought one and burnt up the motor in it so i checked it and put some in there like it comes with none and that's stuff they don't tell you well, this dealership didn't tell me whenever i purchased it so overall the machine works well when the pieces aren't breaking on it which is probably about any machine but the i literally ran it for an hour and a half tops and one of the bolts almost came completely off so that's pretty dangerous um that shouldn't happen that should not do that whatsoever and now i probably ran it for about three hours total and the other one's doing the same thing um, but i do have the part to fix it now i'm, I'm i gotta find I gotta figure out how to get this off because the cotter pin stuck up in it. It's, it's, a, it's a mess. Um, so overall, the machine works well when it's working properly, I guess. I'm gonna use it a lot, hopefully, on the homestead today. I'm gonna get this blade changed out. And I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna take the land back. I'm gonna start cleaning this up around here, make it looking nice. But with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me doing some clearing and all that. Um, I love running machines and making the land better. That's what we're doing at the creek property. And that's what we're doing here. And I'm going to make another video showing you guys cleaning all this up. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And beware of the JCT brush cutter. Um, you need to do some modifications when you get it if you plan on doing any brush cutting whatsoever. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Catch you on next one. Thanks for watching.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys taking this off. I'm actually gonna have to cut it off with my Sawzall. Had to cut that bolt off. I'm so the thing about these JCTs, how they come with these blades, I actually I cut that off just because this bolt had the cotter pin stuck up in between it and the threads. But there's a plastic piece right here. And that's what's really causing some issues too is the plastic piece because the blade hole is too big for the bolt they use. And even with the replacement bolts, I still have to leave that plastic piece in, which I don't like, but I think it's gonna be a lot better with these new bolts. Um, Cause I got one of these uh, Loctite nuts on it. I don't have the cotter pin and I'm checking it every 15, 20 minutes to make sure it's staying tight. And so far I've, I've tight, it hasn't got loose. That one hasn't um, as far as the bolt back it up, but the plastic piece is kind of like squished and stuff. So I keep tightening it up now it's setting really good. But now I could put this new piece on and I think we're going to be way better off. And I'm going to have to get some new blades ready because I beat the crap out of this one already. They're not really made for hitting rocks and stuff. But when you got the new land that we got is just is full of junk and I've hit metal and stuff. Um, so I'm not disappointed in the blade itself. I'm just disappointed in the way they got it connected with plastic pieces. There's a lot of plastic pieces with a lot of moving parts on this machine. And plastic and moving parts on machines is not really a good combination, especially in a high um, work environment, like strong, heavy work environment like we're doing out in the, on the um, making trails and stuff. Plastic is just not a good thing.